day I warm up, do the high stretch so that I could do the kicks and the low stance. The stretch and the stretch and the stretch. But you have to warm up so we start out easy. You see, it's not a stretch. Without him, him, there's no way I could do that. Now I do it every day, have to do it every day. You know? But you don't have to worry about this yet. Nobody does real kicks in real life. So you don't have to worry about that. Ren said, Ren said, if I ever beat him, he retires on the spot. How long have you been doing things? 24, 25 years. Uh, I turned Tai Chi you now 25 years. See, I've years. lost. Look, look. He, but I mean, Lou, he's you know, got maybe me. five years. I think maybe two down two. No, I, I can feel he four, has me. I don't, I don't really have a way out. Unless uh -huh. he told me what the, Well, how do yeah, I get out? You know, he changed. No, I have a draw, but this pulls. This hand pulls. Drop there. Yeah, ah, see. see. I've it's, back, a, yeah. it's not where you think it would be as part of it. It's not intuitive. Unless you're a genius like he is. Can he push me? No, no, I know I don't try pung. It's called pung. It's called eye. He put a very hard time to do two way now. Pung, pung, and the chin is too much to get it. constantly told by your teacher to do it slowly and the tendency because we're all living in this frenetic city is to do it quickly but if you do it quickly you're usually skipping over a, a whole bunch of moves that are the ones that protect your knee and your back and your ankle and eventually you start learning from the form to slow down and pay attention and if you slow down and pay attention start actually feeling these moves for instance I still remember how startling it was to realize I have toes in my foot that can that when you get out of these huge sneakers that we we have that have so much cushioning when you get out of that can actually grab the floor that's a whole other experience then you start actually using your feet and when you're using your feet you're using your legs and it goes on ad infinitum but that's because of going slower and learning to be patient through the Tai Chi to be able to focus. One of the things you discover in it, you touched on it, was the idea, if you're moving forward, uh, the first lesson from Master Ren was, it's as though you're checking to see, is it thin ice over there you haven't committed your whole body to the step is it solid ground uh, when you absorb that idea and, or when you're going backwards the reverse of it what am I what am I stepping on this is great in New York when it's winter and icy because in real life you've taken the the opening of the 19 and you're applying it to walking which right off the bat there's a real practical people slip things happen that way of being that kind of awareness in your legs can can really really help you in every conceivable way and we thought it would be great to use contemporary electronics to 
create music that was rhythmically and sonically in tune, um, tonally as well, to vibrate, go through your body and help you do the form. That, like, actually work with you, not as just a curtain in the back. So, it's, it's, it's a little ambition we have to try to make the music go with the form in a contemporary manner. We've also tried to do music that energizes you, the way rock music energizes people, so they leap into the mosh pit and try to uh, bang their heads into the floor. Another, ver you know, to try to do a positive thing from this with contemporary music to make it so you can channel that kind of energy and power into your form. That's a thing I think is a really great idea to try to use contemporary music for. And we've been trying using this music in class, testing it on, on ourselves. Do, do you do the form better that way or not? Do you do the form better that way or not? And um, for some of the music, advanced students liked it, beginners didn't. It's, it's really such a personal thing. But I've, I don't find health clubs inducive to this whatsoever. I always try to find, is there a meditation room? Is there a yoga room? Or it's interesting to think of it, we're all very individual and the expression of the energy is very, is individual as well. But it's the, the expression of the energy that's a very exciting thing as you get to know your body and how to protect it, how to use it, how to use that energy uh, in ways that will make you stronger.